retro rock plays everything. Hey Rob here, and today we're going to talk about the GPD Pocket, which is a possible successor to the GPD Win. Well, not really so much a successor as it is possibly a co-product. Uh, this is a direct response to some of the criticism of the GPD Win. I know some people are using it like in business environments and such, and of course that I, I don't know why you do that because it's so obviously a gaming product. Uh, but some people did, you know, it had game pads. Game sticks on. If you don't know what a GPD win is, you uh, you know you can look all over the station. I have lots of videos on it. But anyway, uh, the GPD Pocket is basically a response to that and offers kind of a more uh, micro PC uh, experience. This is the official announcement on GPD Win's Facebook page. As you can see, I gave it a thumbs up. Maybe you should too. Hmm. Keep them coming out with these devices. Anyway, <laughs> it's talking. Uh, here's another photo of it. Uh, it looks really big in this picture. However, it is actually only seven inches. Uh, so it's a seven inch diagonal screen. Uh, as far as performance characteristics, uh, this is exactly the same as the GPD Win currently. So that means it uses an Atom Z8700. 100 processor. It's got four gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got 128 gigs of storage. So it is literally the same thing. And of course, this is a uh, it is a touch screen. Now, an interesting thing about it is in response to some of the criticism and even criticism that I had that I felt that GPD wins. Uh, they they felt a little bit flimsy. Uh, this is an actual aluminum case. So it is going to be built into an aluminum uh, aluminum body, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, if you look on the side over here, you can see the photo. Uh, they have announced the specs as having one USB A 3.0 port, as expected, a USB C for charging, and of course you've got the uh, you got the HDMI out and a headphone port, as you can see on the side. So the other side is probably blank. It's got a 7,000 milliamp battery, according to them. That should power it for a pretty darn long time. Uh, I haven't really had many problems with power on the GPD Win, other than its general kind of uh, weirdness. So, you know, it should, should last a pretty decent amount of time. Uh, if you look at this keyboard here, you can see it's somewhat Mac-like. This is a prototype keyboard. This is not expected to be exactly like the final version. Uh, notice that there is a little joystick in the center, but there is no uh, trackpad area, which is to be expected because remember, this is only seven inches, so you don't have a lot of room. Uh, I would like to see a backlight on this uh, keyboard. One of the problems I had with the GPD Win was that it's very hard to see it in the dark, especially when you happen to be blind like me. Uh, there is what appears to be a photo of the prototype. So there it is. Uh, it might or might not be running. Notice that it has Windows on it. However, in their releases, they have said it may have Windows 10 or may have uh, Ubuntu Linux on it. Uh, I've heard some complaints about putting Ubuntu Linux on there. Uh, that, I think, is a great choice. It's probably the most mainstream and stable uh, consumer level of, of uh, Ubuntu. <laughs> I just call it Ubuntu now. Of Linux, I really enjoy using it. I think it's I, I think it's a really decent usable Linux. I give it to a lot of friends that have problems with viruses. And I just, it's easy to work with. It's, it's well documented. I know there's a lot of Red Hat people out there. And uh, some people that are for uh, like Mint, which is, you know, it's basically Ubuntu too. But uh, Ubuntu is a standard distribution and it's very widely seen. So I think it's a good choice. That's enough on that. But uh, I'm not 100% sure which it'll ship with, whether you're going to get your choice of having Windows 10 on it or Ubuntu. Hard to say. Windows 10 is free on small devices, uh, as they mentioned before. So this would, uh, this would be a screen size that is, you know, under that. So it is a handheld device. There it is. Uh, there it is next to what appears to be a Mac. Uh, I can't see whether it says Mac on it. Uh, China has a lot of fake MacBooks, so it's hard to say whether it's a real one or not. Uh, to the right, of course, is the GPD Win. So you, so you can see the scale looks a little bit larger, which you know 
would be expected. And there we are again. That, that does appear to possibly really be a MacBook Air. Uh, it might have a some kind of protective cover on it. There they are closed. You can see it's a little bit thicker. I love the look of it. It's got a really clean look to it. I think, is there anything else you need to know? Aluminum, well, processor, cover that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is one more thing. It's going to uh, be, I believe, Indiegogo. Uh, it's going to be a uh, crowdsourced thing, just like the GPD win was. And there we go with it next to a phone. Comments are getting very exciting. And there it is in his back pocket. It's going to fit my cargo pants, which I think would be great. Um, one thing I do like about this is it would be good for IT people. I, you know, I work in IT, and a lot of times you're running around and you get uh, hauled over to somebody's desk just because you know you're in the IT department. So uh, we uh, we want help, and uh, we're going to drag you to our desk even though you're on your way to lunch, which I don't actually mind that much. But it, if you're carrying this device on you, you might be able to help them out a little bit easier or look something up while they're having a computer problem. So that's kind of a nice thing for offices. And that um, that is actually um, one of the things they're looking at here. And I think there's another picture is uh, making more of a not just gaming device, but more of a rounded uh, home home or small office or even, I guess, you know, business uh, device. Boy, I'm babbling. Keep babbling. Good. We're almost to the end. I meant this to be a short video, and it's going to be a short video. Uh, I will note that it looks like it's going to be on Indiegogo possibly sometime in February. So that's coming up really soon. Um, what do you think about this? Number one, I wanna, I'm kind of curious. What kind of price point do you think this should be at? Uh, number two, is it something you'd be interested in? Uh, are you interested in GPD, which is Gamepad Digital, doing something that isn't necessarily a gaming machine? Although I think it could probably play some pretty good first-person shooters. Uh, you can hook a mouse up to that puppy and just fly. Mm, yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, do me a favor if you enjoyed this video or got anything out of it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you with more GPD win goodness very soon. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos